Hello everybody and welcome back on my channel. My name is Alex and today we'll make this Ule in SOLIDWORKS. And for this we'll be following this drawing. Okay, we'll make first this the sketch for this section view. And we're gonna use revolve it both base around this axis. And then we'll make these cuts. And at the end we'll apply some fillets. So let's begin. First let's open a new part, select here part, ok, and now let's make this plain white, and now we'll open a sketch in the front plane, and here we'll make two center lines, just like this, and now we'll select a line and we'll make the next sketch, we'll start from this line, like this, up and just like this and up and back here okay and now we'll gonna use mirror and this command to mirror this on this other side so select all of these lines and then click on mirror and this command. Nice. And now let's use smart dimension to define this sketch. So first we we'll start with this line, the dimension from this line to this center line. And here will be 80 millimeters. Okay, and then the next one will be from this line to this center line. And here will be 10 nice and the next one will be from this line to this center line and here will be 65 okay from this line to this one here will be 25 okay Ok, and now we'll have to delete this line and this one so we can drag it down and up because it was not working and now select line again and let's close this back. Ok, and now it's smart mention, let's keep defining them, here the angle will be 45 and here should be the same ok let's see if here is the same that's good and now we'll have to give some more dimensions let's see the dimension here will be 48 nice and now the dimension from this line to this center line here will be 20 ok and now let's make these two lines colliner perfect let's see what's missing let's make these two points vertical ok and let's give a dimension from this point to this center line and here will be 25 and this should be enough and now let's go to features and use revolve boss base command and here we we'll have to select this center line and press here ok nice and this is looking pretty good and now we we'll have to open a sketch in the front plane and here we'll make a center line and then we'll make a center point arc just like this select this point with this point and select here make vertical and now it's smart dimension let's define this first the radius will be 25 
actually the radius will be 15 and the dimension between these two points will be 25 nice and now select line and let's close this sketch and go to features use revolved cut this center line should be selected here and press ok ok this is good and now select this face open a sketch and here we'll make these cuts should be 12 holes like this so let's do it we'll make only one and then we're gonna use a circular sketch pattern so now let's make a center line actually we yeah let's make it okay and now we'll select center point arc again we'll make here a small arc like this and then select the line and we'll make here a line just like this and then here we'll make an arc if you go away and then you go back to this point it will transform into center point arc and then we'll make here an arc and then a line back here and now select this point select here make tangent select this three lines and select here make uh, sorry not collider make symmetric and here should also be tangent okay and now we'll select this arc with this circle and we'll select here make concentric nice and now it's more dimensional let's give a radius for this arc and the radius will be 60 millimeters and the angle between these two will be 20 degrees okay and from this point to this point it will be 25 nice and now we have to make 12 of them so let's go here to line our sketch pattern click on this arrow select circular sketch pattern here we'll have to select the sketch the instances will be 12 360 degrees equal spacing and we can see the preview press ok and now we'll go to features and we'll use extruded cut and here instead of blind we'll select up to next press ok and this is looking good and now this is almost done all we'll have to do is to apply the fillets so select fillet first the radius will be 5 we'll select this face and this other face and then we'll select this actually now we'll, we'll only select these two faces for now press ok nice and now we'll have to select uh, fillet again with the same radius 5 let's select this line this edge and here we'll select this one internal to feature and should be 23 edges perfect press ok and now let's try to apply a fillet on these edges also so select fillet again let's see if with 5 it's working is not working for both of them so let's change the radius let's try with three millimeters and we can see that with three it's working so let's clear this and let's select again this age and let's see which one will select all of these ages we need i think this one between left feature and part select all of them perfect and press ok ok 
Nice. And now this is it. This was the tutorial for today. Thank you for watching and if you like it you can leave a like, you can subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and you can leave a comment with your opinion. Thank you and I hope to see you in the next video.